Armenia. Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished leaders of states, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to address the Summit for Democracy and share the democratic achievements and aspirations of the Republic of Armenia. The agenda of democratic reforms remains a top priority for our government. As a result, according to the reports of the Freedom House, Armenia has been ranked as a free internet country several years in a row. We have registered improvement of global freedom index, advancing our positions by two points within one year. Armenia has also registered progress in the World Press Freedom Index and improved its positions by two points in 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, the fundamental question that arises among democracies nowadays is whether democracy can deliver security and stability. Over the past several years, we have experienced multiple times how democratic institutions can ensure internal stability. On the other hand, Armenia has been attacked by some external undemocratic forces through military and hybrid means that targeted not only the territorial integrity and independence of our country, but democracy as well. And we decided to join the International Criminal Court to protect our independence, territorial integrity, and democracy. Being committed to the peace process with Azerbaijan, Armenia views its security primarily in peaceful coexistence and cooperation with its neighbors in the region and beyond. Hence, the project Crossroads of Peace introduced by the government of the Republic of Armenia aims to contribute to the security, stability, and peace in the South Caucasus. This project is another indicator of my government's commitment to contribute to the lasting peace and security in the region by means of cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, I reiterate the commitment of Armenia to the democratic route in the benefit of region in general and in the benefit of the statehood of the Republic of Armenia, its sovereignty and its international rule. Thank you.